I've just rendered it uh, to see how it looks and I think it's pretty nice. Uh, we can talk about a lot of things, maybe the scale of, of the noise here and, and stuff like this, but in a way you, you have the idea and I, I think it, it worked pretty well. So now we will output our different map. So we will create a new one and call it Baker again, Baker02. 2K maps here will be used. And let's press OK. Now in the node editor, we'll add a new texture, image texture, and load our uh, Baker2. So I will zoom in, just open the Baker2. And now we'll first uh bake our diffuse color so it's very simple we we'll use this mask here and i will add a color mix called rgb this will be our mixing factor and now i just have to source the color of my diffuse here which is this one and plug it here and find the color of my diffuse, which is this one, and plug it down. Let's check it. So it's inverted like this. And now I have my base color. I can bake it. Let's switch to five, make this active, click bake. And now I have this nice diffuse map. I will save it. And this is going to be the shield diffuse or albedo, call it as you wish. Okay, now I will bake the glossy color. So I have the glossy color, which is here. I will plug it. So if I follow on the top part and here the glossy color is here. Let's check. So this is our glossy color. I will click bake. So I will save this shield. Now we need to bake our uh, roughness value. So let's go into the node editor. We have here the roughness that is outputted from this slot for the metal. So it has to be plugged on the top one. And then we'll have to bake the glossy factor, the normal, and I will just check how we can combine normals and bump, if it's possible. So here we have um, values that are up uh, for a blender. So you may need to contrast them to use them properly in uh, another software or another uh, PBR, but um, it should work properly. So I found kind of a way to bake uh, new normals, which looks uh, decent using only blender so we have our normal map here which is in the normal map uh, node and here our bump which is driven by this normal map what i want is to be able to bake a new normal map based on the bump here so i will use this slot which is the bump 8 I will add here a vector converter mat node that will allow me to drive the strength. I will add a shader glossy to make things obvious. And I will plug the glossy into the surface and use this value into the displacement. So now I got this result. I will make it weaker, 0.1. That looks uh, pretty nice currently. And we will bake the normal. Because when you are using the displacement slot here, Blender uh, render it as it 
if it was real geometry. So you can output a normal map from this. The problem is that you can't use both the displacement here and this normal slot. Whenever you plug something into the normal shader, it will, um, I don't know how to say it, but uh, it will over overpass or uh, I don't know, but it will cancel the displacement effect here. So let's bake the normal. So I get this nice uh, normal map based on the bump we have created. So I've already made the taste and save it as normal bump here. And now using Blender, we will uh, create a new map based on this. So first we need to load our normal map, our original normal map. And I keep it in color this time because we will be playing with color. And here we will load our newly created normal based on the bump and we'll find a way to combine them. So generally you do a color mix and use the overlay, but you will get a bad result because the blue uh, will overpass and uh, the whole thing and you'll get something very, very dark. So what you need to do is first separate using the separate RGB those channels here and we will recombine them so using a converter combine RGB so for the time being it doesn't mean nothing but adding a vector mat multiply and multiplying the green and red channel by two will make the map uh, clear as before and with the same detail. So if I mute this to see my normal map and then re-enable it, I can see I get uh, quite the same uh, value for both in terms of colors. Now I need to isolate the wooden part from the metal part. For this, we'll use our mask here that I will use as a factor. Control shift click. And now I have my new normal map with uh, this wooden pattern here, which is pretty interesting. So I will bake the normal map again, but this time as we've made just uh, a color mixing here. I can simply bake an emission. I will select my uh, baker. So duplicate this image texture, go to the baker. Now I get this new normal map, which is the final one I can save. And now with all of this, uh, we can create a simpler uh, shader for our shield. So this was our original uh, shader, which was kind of complex. I will make the simple one really fast. So we need a mix shader, we need a diffuse and a glossy. Now we need our normal map. So texture, image, texture. I will open in the shield map, the normal map two. Plug it into a vector normal map. Switch here to non-color and plug this in both. And now I will add my texture, image texture. First the diffuse. Now I just need to plug my base color into the diffuse, my gloss color into the glossiness, the glossy BSDF. 
this roughness here into the roughness slot and finally this uh, glossiness into the mixing and I should have with this simple setup exactly the same result as this complex node and this is it so now you can imagine this into uh, sketchfab for example so I will uh, load it into sketchfab and show you the final result so I've played a little in uh, sketchfab and even if I couldn't reach exactly the same uh, result because of the uh, lightning and stuff like this we do find all of our feature so I may try uh, uh, some other PBR maybe on the one that we have used or something like this this one is also interesting but the, the thing is that we, we do have let, let's use a, stu a simple studio here we do have uh, all what we have done with uh, this uh, roughness difference this glossiness difference uh, and all the the cool feature we have tried to input on this model so i'm pretty happy with the result and uh, i hope uh, this sample 100 percent uh, blender tutorial was helpful for you and i'll see you soon